Hell on the castle then, pal. Who are you? I am the Talon Den Master. You realize why I'm here, don't you? Nope. Your lack of candles. You haven't made one for six months. I know, I've um, been meaning to work on that. Then why not a collab? Okay, what about top 10 Pokemon Mystery Dungeon bosses? Okay. Q intro? Q intro. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series is an awesome spin-off series. We both love it. Yes, as you may know, my channel, mascot and production name are all based on it. So, we decided the best way to celebrate these games is by having a countdown based on them. And we decided that the best topic for the countdown was the boss battles. Since they usually are the funnest part of the games. And they should be judged on boss design, music, story relevance, and overall how fun they are. And remember that this is our opinion and neither of us have played the new one. So no bossing for that. Enough talk, let's begin. <laughs> of course the first boss of the franchise would be here. Yeah, it's... Garmory. You gotta be shitting me! Now, hold on. We are justified for this choice. It's a good fight that isn't too easy or too hard. Hey, you never fought this thing using the grass and water team. In that case, this boss can be a real challenge. Fair enough. That was interesting build up. I mean, this thing kidnapped a Diglett. I mean, how do you even do that? That's so intuitive. When I first fought this boss battle, I was really scared. Because how on earth does someone kidnap a Diglett? It's just. Impossible! Okay, we get the point, but overall, this is a good boss battle with a lasting effect. Now we at Lugia, and it's a classic. If I start with the build up, do you even hear about Lugia? You have to recruit Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, which can all be fights unless you're an electric type. Then, after having them join your team, head to the friend zone where they are, then they will alert you that them, meeting together, at the same location, will awaken Lugia. Now, you have to go through a dungeon known as the Silver Trench. And it's a 99 floor dungeon. You have 99 problems, but Lugia ain't one. Uh, uh, what was that? Looks like you're gonna have to... spiel with it. Yeah! Are you dumb? Now... You have to face Lugia. It's a pretty standard boss, but it doesn't have any standard moves. But if you're a grass type, if it does catch you off guard, gonna have a bad time. and beats you, it hurts. You lost to it, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> While the castle and Mal gets his sanity back, I'll finish off here. Well, to be honest, there isn't much more to say, and then what got this battle here was the build up before it. If you thought Lugia had a tough dungeon to go through before fighting it, well, you will hate Wish Cave. Yes, you have to go through 99 floors yet again, starting at level 1. That means you usually have to go through with a Pokemon that can level up fast, such as baby forms. After reaching the bottom, you will encounter Jirachi, and if you don't have a good tech advantage, you will most likely use it, since Jirachi has one of the best typing, Steel and Psychic. Just make sure to use items to your advantage and try not to die. You don't want to put yourself through this again. 
You died during the fight, didn't you? No, of course not. Um, okay, it w but it was six years ago, so I think it's pretty reasonable. Come on. Thought so. Now let's get back on topic. Now, if you defeat it, you get the best part. Yes, when you defeat him, you can use the wish stone to claim a wish along with Jirachi joining your team. Now the wish, you have several to choose from, which are gaining experience, gaining lots of money from Jirachi, gaining lots of items, a new friend area, or more power. Overall, the reason why this boss fight is ahead of Lugia is because of the greater reward. Now we are at Team Maze, which consists of Medicham, Ekin and... Gengar. What's wrong? I hate Gengar. Okay, but let's move on. What makes this boss battle a challenge is some of the situations the moves can cause, such as confusion, paralyzation, and lowering your stats. And they come equipped with some tough moves, such as Thunder Punch, Hypnosis, and Lick. Easily, the worst types to be in this fight are Grass and Fighting. Since you are going against a ghost poison type, a mono poison type, and a fighting psychic type. Yep, the boss can be very, very hard if you didn't see it coming. Well, that's about it. Yes! 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 Um, what was all that about? The best character in the Mystery Dungeon! Franchise! Yay, we get a fight shot out! No, well yes, but no, yes. Let's just move on to the battle. Okay, anyways, this battle is a great test of your skill. Since you're not up against one, not two, but nine Pokemon. You're up against nine Pokemon one boss battle. That is freaking awesome! And the Pokemon you're up against are Diglett, Dactrio, Chemeco. Krogank, Sunflora, Corfish, Laudet, and the previously mentioned Chatot and Wigglypuff. Overall, some are easy to beat, like Diglett and Dugtrio. But as shown earlier in the game, Wigglypuff is very tough, and this battle shows it very well. Overall, an awesome challenge for an awesome character. <laughs>